I can't turn. All right, the mic is not on me. Here we go. Let's try it again. I'm not doing this over. Hi, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Cancer, you could be dealing with a Libra. A justice card don't want to go anywhere. Um, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me for a personal reading. All right, Cancer, let's get into it. So, what's the, the what's the issue between? Well, what's going on with Cancer and their love life? Cancer and their love life. Cancer and their love life. All right. The Ten of Wands. You feel like something is an uphill battle here. Um, you feel like it's so strenuous, so stressful. You have a lot of work that you're already doing in your own life. And this is just adding to the stress levels. This is how somebody feels about you or you them. You feel like it also could be karmic. Like this is a karmic cycle. And maybe you want it to end. Maybe it is ending here. You feel like you're working so hard, but toward what? Because typically in the Ten of Wands, there's that man carrying that, that bundle of uh, sticks or wands. Um, but it's, it's clouding his judgment. It's clouding his sight. He doesn't know where he's going. So maybe you feel like you just keep going in this relationship, but for why? Where is it? Where are you ending up? Uh, someone could feel that way about you. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, let's see what's going on. Let's see how your person, if you have a specific person, let's see how they feel about you. If you were looking for somebody new, then let's see how this new person could feel. And if you don't have anybody, the Ten of Wands can say that maybe you're carrying some burdens from the past. You still have a chip on your shoulder. You're still carrying around things that um, you feel like people don't see it. People can uh, pick up on it, but it's there. Uh, let's see. How does your person feel? How does Cancer's person feel? How does Cancer's person feel? How does can oh jeez, they don't want to talk. How does cancer's person feel? Oh, they don't want to tell you. How does cancer's person feel? Okay, Knight of Cups. They feel like they want to give love to you. They feel like there's love. They feel like they want to fall in love again. They want to sweep you off your feet. They want to do something ladylike or gentleman like. They want you to trust them. Uh, they want to, they want to show up again. They feel like maybe the relationship is spiritually guided with the Knight of Cups here. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. This could be an Aquarius in love. Um, this person could feel like, you know, this is a power play. Also with the red roses. They have a lot of passion for you too. Maybe this person wants to invite you somewhere also. To an event or on a date. Uh, let's see. How does cancer feel? How does cancer feel about the Knight of swords? So you want to give some truth. You also want to make a big move here. and it, it could be in terms of what you're saying. Maybe even what you're doing, you want to defend something. Maybe you, you want to defend your position, your truth, your how you're seeing things here. You want to be impulsive or you might be impulsive or you want to talk about somebody's impulsiveness or this is you. Um, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. The both of you are trying to do something. The Knights are about movement and doing. So the King or the Queen sends the Knights out to do. You know, they're not the page where you go, go tell the other King or the other Queen, tell them this. They're not giving a message. They're actually telling. So it's like the both of you want to do something here. I don't know if you're on the same page. Um, maybe it stems from this burden that is the relationship. One of you want to do something loving. Your other person wants to do something loving. You you want to 
talk about what has transpired and what needs to transpire, you might want to confront them. Let's see. What's happening? What is the outcome between Cancer and their person? The King of Cups. All right, so there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of blue here. So there'll be a lot of healing that needs to be done. Um, the both of you are going to remain emotionally balanced. Like, there's a lot of emotion that you have for each other, but you're just going to know when to draw on this emotion or that emotion and not come out of pocket or out of balance and go too much to too lovey-dovey or too much too rage or anger or frustration something about tempering and you know the king of cups is directly related to the temperance card tempering yourself i don't know like maybe y'all have some blow-ups in here or, or there will be okay these two just spit out where well, there's more than two here uh three cards the devil card the four of wands and the judgment. So some of you, once again, you feel like this relationship is maybe toxic or codependent or um, it's an uphill battle, but somebody's heavily addicted to it. You, Cancer, the other person wants to make sure they're making the right choice here. They do not want to go down that road of feeling beaten, battered, bruised. This talks about volatile or violence. You know, it could be physical violence or it could just be that the relationship is volatile. Like it's up and down. It's hot and cold. It's in and out. You don't know what's coming next. You don't know what's going on the next day to the next day to the next day. So it may be volatile in that and, you know, in those terms. Uh, but there's also the opportunity for the four of wands and the judgment. So it's like you guys get along very well. It's opportunity for a reunion, for reconciliation. I'm hearing the one that got away. To come back together, to revive, to um, make some snap decision here. Look at the bottom of the deck, right? Ace of Wands to actually do something. So this is when you actually do something together. Now, it could be doing something together. It could be sex. It could be moving the relationship to the next level, moving in, buying a dog, buying something, making a big purchase together, but doing something together that maybe kind of gets the ball rolling here. We took some action, maybe even some quick snap judgment or action here. Cancer, I just want you to make sure that uh, whatever you get yourself into, you can get unraveled faster than it. It'll take, you know, you can get unraveled just as quickly as you got into it. And I think you're concerned about that, too. Also, it could be third party. Um, maybe you are a third party to a relationship here. Um, that maybe somebody wants to revive or you have a third party and you want them to come back into the fold. Let's get you. Um, yeah, we'll get some shells on here. What's the shells for cancer? Okay. What's that? Hidden. Yeah, something is hidden here. And job. I don't know if somebody's got a hidden job or um, something to do with their job and something being hidden. Um, we do see third party here. Okay. Open. Yeah. So somebody's open to this, but something's hidden also. Maybe some. Somebody's open, but the other person's got something hidden. Someone else wants to make sure they don't get in something crazy that is going to be a living hell for them. They want to make a smart decision, maybe of um, father, of becoming a father, or maybe they'll go and talk to their father to make a smart decision. Someone could be talking to the father of their child. They don't know if it's smart to do that. All right. Well, this is your reading, Cancer. I hope that you took something from it. If you did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. You can also text a question to the number below. You can also uh, donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to. You can click the Buy Me a Coffee link. Uh, thank you, Cancer. Take care. Many blessings.